Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds and the Emerald Vale, where we're still at. Um, last time we uh, diverted the power back to Edgewater, so this uh, deserted community has now been completely drained of power, and nothing else works anymore except for the very fancy orange lighting for some reason. Might have a backup generator somewhere. Um, but last time Adelaide gave us another ultimatum. She knows how to cure the plague that's been uh, okay. running amok in Edgewater, uh, but she only wants to give us the cure if uh, Reed Thompson actually leaves Edgewater. Before we go back to Edgewater itself to convince Reed to leave, we're gonna talk to these people. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. No, definitely it's Whoa. my fault. Uh, Miss Parvati. <laughs> Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Um, I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Yeah, basically. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. W wait, why... I could give you a couple of pointers, but why are you, um, why are you even telling them that? But let, let's teach them a few things. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. Well, that's admirable. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Aha. Uh -huh. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I have two of the three right now. Um, I've got one of the data pads. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? So let's start with part one. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. So that's fact, the reputation going up. I decide something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. That's 300 bits. Oh, hold on, I've got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. So part three is here as well, and I'm supposing part two is then at um, Barfati's dad's. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Yeah, it was. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, I almost forgot your payment. 500 bits for that, holy moly. So, I'm gonna go for now. So, he's still marked. Yeah, he's still marked. I need to tell him that I'm, I'm gonna break his heart. Um, I think, because I don't need to tell these guys that. I think I'm gonna actually check out one of the side quests here before we leave. Because there's still the uh, disappearance of Zoe. So, Zoe's house is right over there. So, let's have a look at that. Probably would have been easier if there were still lights uh working in this place but let's check it out seems like every interactable item is uh glowing blue anyway there's an a note here so that's page 12 from her journal so that's it then no more edge water for me no more cannery no more jumpsuits and gloves yes ma'ams and would you like another's i don't know how i am writing this down for posterity's sake because i've always hated the cannery and i don't think i'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and i tell myself Oh wow, I did hate the veil once, did I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? 
Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Well, you you probably were then. Um, so she was on drugs. There's another page underneath the carpet. I've seen that, but what's this? Page 22. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even Marauders, right? I got alt. those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my back and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. So it seems Zoe is, uh, yeah. Not a, a bit of a junkie. A junkie that wanted to throw in her lot with the Marauders because she didn't like what the people over here were telling her. And that's probably what this is going to tell us. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little bit better too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. Tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run on ether wave, so I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Oh, to run an ether wave, so that's a television program. Mask, marketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cater of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. A band of bandits? What will we call ourselves? The Formidable 14. The Hundred Hooligans featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen. So, she doesn't even really give a reason for all of that. I could steal the poster. But why would I steal the poster? That just seems ridiculous. So, she supposedly... Yeah, Zoe Chandler is heading out in that bandit camp. But does that mean we need to kill her as well? Because <laughs> that would make uh, our actions on this little community even worse um that's sealed okay let's head towards that bandit camp then it doesn't seem too far away oh more uh, marauders over here i think i might be able to just so that's a goon and that's a vandal we there we go he goes that was a bit of a oh god thank you thank you parvati she really saved my ass there Let's huff and puff. Huff and puff. Let's shoot him in the spine. Right? Oh wow, that was a scream. Yeah, I think everybody's alright. I'll just take another huff and puff. Yes, huff and puff. We like huff and puffing. Ooh. An electric security blade. Another Tossball car, the compass, and standard trooper armor. I think we need to upgrade our armor, by the way, for Valti. Because we found a few really nice pieces of armor. So I could either go with the standard troop armor, which increases sneak by 7. Or I could go with Aramid Ballistics, which increases my defensive skills by 5 each. So I think I'm going to go with that. And that looks actually pretty nice. And then for Valti... What's your armor rating at the moment? That's 16 because it's heavy weapons. And her heavy weapons is skill is also increased by 5 because of it. So I think I might just uh, also weigh some of the uh, armor pieces here. Because she's she looks pretty fine right now. She has a pristine piecemeal hel helmet which increases her melee skills. I think I might actually upgrade my own helmet for... Because that's just 6 and handguns. I'm not using handguns. So might as well just use the patched low pressure helmet and increase my lock picking by five. Um, and then I can break down everything else. So there we go, armor upgrade for me and a helmet upgrade as well. So that should be fine. 
Zoe is hiding out over here, so that probably means that this place is crawling with bandits. There is a tamed... Ooh. There's definitely more where that came from, and I don't have really good cover over here, so I might just... Would I be able to just snipe this guy from here? Oh yeah, but I definitely got him in the face there. And it doesn't seem like they're any the wiser. Aside for the cannon. So I'm just killing them. What the hell? Oh god! Okay. Let's just heal up. There we go. Oh, he's not dead. Um, oh, I would have gone with the blade there. Any Anybody else? Was that it? Oh, there was just a lot of dogs apparently. And melee marauders. That's not a problem at all. So that's all of the marauders in here. There's a few buildings I can actually enter. And this seems like a little town on its own right. But Zoe is apparently over here. Hello Zoe. Well, how's the bandit queen doing? Wow, you crossed them all off. Like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Um, 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 that's the first time somebody called me a heroic accountant. I think that's the first time anyone called an accountant heroic. But, um, and, and I'm saying that while my father is one, but, um, you sound confused or possibly unscrewed. No, let's just tell her that people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. Okay. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Oh, this sounds like... Um, I need you to clarify something for me. Because she, she also has red hair. She could join the Redhead Sisters. Um, I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Um, are you... I mean... Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. But you were happy that I killed them off. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Sure. Um, how are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, she's snappy, I like you mean that. these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Okay, you're hired. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. So that actually, she's lying, right? Because according to her diary, she stole drugs. She stole Adrena time, which is clearly just drugs and not medicine. So, um, there was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Um, so you need to go. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Well, you can't really go back because I kind of blew up the camp. So I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, company worse, and no serial dramas. Yeah, that's a good point. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. So I can return to Grace now, um, which is interesting, because she wants to go back to watch dramas, but in the meantime, I've cut off all the power, so she can't really watch any dramas anymore. Stop judging me, Parvati. So, after a few buildings, some exploring and some looting, we're back in the uh, deserter settlement. We can talk to Grace to finish up the quest of Zoe, 
Which I think might actually be one of our companions or not. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Okay, I talked to Zo Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? Um, she joined up with a band of marauders. They didn't they hadn't heard her. Um Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. So I can try to convince Grace to come back to Edgewater as well, but I think I'm going to wait until we can actually just uh, bring everybody back to Edgewater if I convince uh, Reed to actually leave. So there we go, and then now we can head back to Edgewater. Look at that, back at Edgewater, the Spaces Choice Employment Community. Let's see if we can't kick out the leader of this place. Probably not going to be as easy as I think it's going to be. So, put the gun away and get back into the Saltuna Cannery, into the elevator to talk to Reed. Because I'm wondering if we will have enough information now to deal with Reed. I don't think we will be. We will have enough information to do that. He's not going to just bend over and take it. So, yeah, either we're going to have to convince him. Oh, wow. That looks a bit more menacing than he was than when he was standing up. But, hello, Mr. Thompson. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Um, I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. He's sleazy, but, uh... The town's terrified of the plague. Abernathy asked me to steal medicine for him. Probably shouldn't shouldn't say that, because otherwise it's just gonna slap a fine on Abernathy. So your town's a mess, Reed. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. I am a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Um Attack, well tried. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with plague. Hmm, so... Yeah, let's bring up the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Oh man, you can't believe that, surely. Um, your town doesn't need anything but saltuna. Of course you're going to get sick. Have your people... Act have you people ever eaten an actual vegetable? Let's go with that. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable... Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. But that's a problem, but dude, seriously. Um, I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. What exactly are you putting in those cans? Because we know from his first conversation with Arvati that he doesn't put Saltuna in those cans anymore. Processed, liquefied, retextured saltuna rendered in a chemical bath, of course. Well, mostly saltuna. We've been experiencing a saltuna shortage, you see. So we've had to improvise. There we go. We've added wood chips, some mushrooms, a bit of sand, tossed some canid bits in our processor ones. It all tastes like saltuna in the end. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wood chips? Sand? Seriously? Um, that, how long have you been living like this? Couple years, give or take. Right around the time the first wave of plagues. Oh, for fuck's sake! And you can't put now, two listen, and two I do together. Not know what pretty rhetoric Adelaide has fed you, but plagues are a simple fact of life. No, they're not. Persuade. There we go. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? She found a way. Um. Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math and it works. Yep, let's go with the lie. 
If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Yes! My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Okay, that is awesome. Um, what are your plans? We you don't have to do this. Of course he needs to do this. I just tried to convince him. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. That turned around really quickly. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Um, you won't last a day outside the walls. Um, yeah, I should. I, I would just put in for early retirement. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. Okay, it's gonna be easy for you. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Wood chips and sand. You dickhead. Take care, buddy. I don't feel bad about you anymore. <laughs> For fuck's sake, he, he's been feeding his people dirt, basically. Dirt in a can. You should... I should shoot you right now. For fuck's sake. You happy with that, Parvati? Something you need? Oh, this is awesome. So, Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Thomas a puppy. That boy is head over heels for you. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay, good point. Um, we can actually do that right here, right? Because there, the last one is supposed to be in town where her father, where Pravati's father lives. So let's check the quest log. Ah, wait. Is your does your father live on top of the? Oh, that actually makes sense, of course, because her work is over here. So her father might actually just have an office in this cannery. I could steal a whole bunch of stuff from this place, but I'm not going to. Going to. I'm a. I'm a good boy. A girl. Girl. Sandra. I'm Sandra. In this. In this game, I'm Sandra. Don't. Don't tell me otherwise. The redhead sisters all the way. There we go. Folio number two. Hi. You didn't mind me stealing. Wait. Are you? Are you Parvati's father? Hey, you made it. Had a word with the constable yet? Wait. I know you. You're. Why do? I, I know you. Hey, you made it. Had a word with the constable yet? Oh, that's the guy that was cleaning up the corpses outside of the ship. Ernest, yeah. I know him. Ow. Okay, shouldn't jump off railings. Fall damage is actually pretty quickly in this, uh, in this game. So, let's head back to Adelaide and Thomas. So, Thomas I can give the engineering book to. And Adelaide we can uh, finally convince to come back to Edgewater. Oh, God. Hello, more marauders. Let's blind this guy. Everyone all right? Yeah, good good work, Pravati. I'm just gonna leave the fast moving enemies for you. Because this plasma rifle shoots projectiles and not just fast moving bullets, which is a bit annoying. Every time I need to go back to uh, the deserters camp, I try to spread out a bit. So that's the geothermal plant, right? Looks familiar. Yeah, so that's that, so now we can just go back to the community. Enemies don't really seem to respawn, which is also interesting, makes these tracks a bit easier. Uh, I'm actually not really sure if there is fast travel in this game. There might actually be, and I'm just wasting my own time. Not your time, of course, because this has already been cut out, except for this bit of the conversation. But by talking like that, I did uh, manage to bridge the time gap to uh, talk to Thomas. Hello Thomas, I got your final volume. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Yes, we have, uh, there we go, today's your lucky day. No kidding, really? Well, which one? Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. 
all three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. I don't think it works like that, but... Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. There we go. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Ooh, electro electrocharged surface. Um, so thank you, Thomas. I want to ask you What's something. On your mind? So you, now you can actually. No, no, wait, wait a sec. Ooh, wow, level six. Uh, thank you. Jeez, that was in the face. Um, Parvati, how are you now? Something you need? Are you happy now that we help Thomas? No, okay, no extra dialogue. So let's just talk to Adelaide first, then. So now everybody can go back to Edgewater. Good news, Adelaide. Look at that. The snakes come back. Yes, and I've come slithering with promise. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. 11,000 experience. You're vexing to me, you know. Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. The board's reputation decreased. Edgewater is better off, yeah. I made a mess of things, guess I'm just trying to set things right. No, Edgewater is better off with you running the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I mean, that's... I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. It's actually not that far away, but that just made things very creepy again that you're just going to use a cemetery as... No, that's... Oh my god. This game is... Yeah, that, that's not good, is it? Just turning the corpses into fertilizer. Um... There we go. That's mine now. Power regulator. Stranger in a strange land. So now, I don't think I need to talk to anybody else here anymore. Because they're going to move away from their own accord. And I have new skills. So the dialogue requirements are actually going up. So I think I'm going to put in five more points. So we can start going into dialogue options more reliably. Um, and then I think two more into tech. So we can get uh, medical and engineering up to 35. And then the final three are going to go into ranged. Although, one in ranged. And then two more into stealth. There we go. And then we can get to uh, choose a new perk. We still need to uh, ch use the first tier. Which is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to go with the extra experience from companion kills, because that's going to just give us more experience to go further. And the sooner we get that, the better. So let's just go with the extra experience. Because I'm guessing we can go up to three members, or are we just going to take one companion every time? Because Parvati is just going to be the first, I'm assuming. Uh, and now we can actually go back to the unreliable and put in that power regulator. Aha, and there is actually fast travel to the landing site. There we go. And that brings us right back to the unreliable. The corpses have been cleaned up by Ernest to uh, reappropriate the... Uh, is this oh. your ship? Okay. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Um. Gosh, <laughs> listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Well, you're... I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, now that we help Thomas, he should be the engineer in Edgewater now. You've never been on a ship before. I can understand not wanting to go back. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. Hell yes. If you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Hell yes, Parvati. Let's go 
and make these uh, redhead sisters a thing. So uh, I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a Captain. That was a little bit of Tiny Tina there. That was... <laughs> ha! Okay, let's get into the unreliable. So there we go. It's been a while, actually. Like, four episodes, I think, if I uh, go by episodes, so... Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Thank you, Ada. I, I'm glad I could help. Do I need to talk to you now? I'm not exactly sure where I need to... Oh, wait. Is there a marker somewhere? I'm not seeing markers, so... Oh, yeah, there's the markers right there. Ada. Hi, Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? I found a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? No, but Parvati does. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay, I'll be back. Across... Oh, jeez. Wow. That was Arvati in the face. Um, Across the cargo bay, up the ladder. This is probably me exploring the ship as well. So let's plug that. And here seems like the same receptacle. Did I need engineering to that? Yay, another silver trophy. Ticket to anywhere. Ooh. Hear her purr. That's a, a nice sound. This kind of does remind me of Firefly. It's really, really similar to that. What's this? Vocational competence respecification machine. Okay. It's probably to change your... Uh, ow! I keep forgetting I'm going to break my ankle if I jump from one story things. Ada, I broke my ankle. What can I do for you, Captain? Fix my ankle. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Our or, or yours? Um, let's get out of here. Ooh, look at that. With some fancy heroic music. There goes the unreliable. It's on the start menu and everything. I love those little battles. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Uh, Batchaman, yeah. Aha, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. A drippage as in dripping from my body? That doesn't seem normal. Um, I've been feeling a lightheaded, a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, you can now travel to Phineas's lab as well. Um, so I need a nav key to land. Doesn't need too much more information. Um, or I could put a couple of light years between me and Halcyon. Yeah, let's ask about the black market. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Okay, so why do we need that nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. 
Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Okay, so nav keys are basically uh, GPS coordinates for a place. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Okay, I'll put it to goose good use. Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay, thank you, Ada. So is it me or is Wells? Ooh, wow. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Uh, is it me or is Wells based slightly, just slightly, off of Rick from Rick and Morty? Because he, he really looks the part as well and he, he, he acts a bit crazy. Um, but with that, now that we're finally off Terra 2, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in uh, the next episode of The Outer Worlds where we're going to explore another one of the outer world. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.